بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته A question was asked from the Netherlands uh, Inshallah you are doing great and Inshallah you are in the best state of Iman I ask Allah to clean your heart and to give you a beneficial Ramadan Ameen wa iyakum. So the questioner said, I have a question I've been dealing with for a long time and I actually, I'm actually kind of scared and shy to ask it to other people. That's why I'm asking it to you. Since I began practicing, I was attending lessons. I felt the sweetness of Iman. I was always in the mood to attain knowledge and I was hungry for it as well. But lately for the past half year, I see an immense decrease in my Iman. It is as if doing the Salat feels like a burden and so heavy and difficult to do. The same with picking up the Qur'an and reading it, if I want to do it, but it feels hard to take the actual step. I feel like I'm such a bad person and I feel disgusted at myself and sometimes I doubt if I ever will be a steadfast person or a Muslim that prays his daily prayers and other ibadat. I feel like I won't go to paradise because of how bad I am and I feel so hopeless. I know it is a long message and I could have made it longer, but I tried to keep it comprehensive. May Allah bless you for your effort and keep you steadfast on the Salat al Mustaqim. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen, Wa Iyakum. So, first and foremost, uh, you know, as we've mentioned on many occasions, that we should not give up on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should not give up on Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and His mercy. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide you. But you have to continue to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. huda wa tuqa wal afaf wa ghina. You know, making those du'as to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance. So that is first and foremost is putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make the effort to better your condition. Secondly, that this... Uh, flow and this natural fluctuation in our iman, our faith, uh, is, is natural, unfortunately. It is natural in the sense that, you know, we are sometimes strong and sometimes we are weak in iman and we experience trials and tribulations and things that knock us off from where we need to be. And it differs, it differs between the people, you know, people to follow it. They have different levels of iman. Uh, for example, someone who is very strong in their practice on another, another level of Iman, when they become weaker in Iman, they're still probably better than many of us uh, on our level. So everyone is different in how they fluctuate, but our Iman sometimes is strong and sometimes it is weak. Secondly, a part of that Iman and a part of the sweetness of Iman that you mentioned, as the Prophet wasallam said that the sweetness of faith, one has experienced the sweetness of faith when they are afraid to return to kufr. They're afraid to return to disbelief and not believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not being a Muslim. And so the fact that you're even asking and you're searching and you're looking at yourself and looking at your sins and you're looking at your shortcomings is a good sign because you're looking and trying to better yourself. How many people they didn't? or they did for a short period of time, and then they gave up. When you give up, then you cross the line and maybe you leave Islam. And I know countless people who have left Islam and they had to come to their personal uh, choices and so forth, and whatever was going on in their life and their lack of knowledge or their lack of Iman, and those things destroyed them. So that's why it's very important to always keep that relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A third point of habitifillah is that it is very important that you also listen to lectures because a lot of times we find that listening to the scholars and so forth increases our iman, that it encourages us and it entices us and it makes us want to uh, do talab al ilm and it wants us to stay, it, it, it is a means for us staying connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I can only tell you from my own experience, when I went through times of weak iman and struggle 
or a continual struggle or a continual weakness in Iman and trials and tribulations or sins that by living in the land and especially living in places like Medina, what really helped me was the, the scholars. Really, even when you're in weak Iman, but you love the ulama and you love that ilm, that path, that sitting in their gatherings. And it just, you know, it was like a hourly renewal of Iman. I won't say daily because we had so many lessons in one day. Sheikh Abdul Masinan Abad after Maghrib, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Ibrahim Raheli after Asr, uh, Sheikh uh, Suleiman Raheli has this dars this day, Sheikh Ubaid has these durus this day, these days. You know, so these kind of things, they, for me personally, they helped me to stay grounded even when I went through weaknesses, when I went through trials and tribulations, when I felt my sins were overcoming me. So what I would say is that it's very important to listen. Now you have the means to really listen to, uh, uh, you know, by videos and so forth. Now you can see lectures and you can feel as if you're a part of them. It's not, it's never, I want to clarify this, it's never like sitting with the scholars. It's never like sitting with the scholars. If you listen to 200,000 tapes of the scholars, it's not like sitting in their company. So, it's still by listening and keeping in touch and being encouraged when you see somebody who has achieved some knowledge and they're doing good with it, that encourages you. And maybe they say some words that are beautiful that help you to increase your Iman and help you want to stay connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those kind of things because you need a good righteous environment. And with the pandemic, these feelings can be even more pronounced, meaning they can be greater and, and it can be more problematic with the loneliness, with the difficulty, with the weak iman. So it's very important to have good, righteous suhba company. As we mentioned many times that you need to have good people around you. Ahli iman wa sunnah, you need them around you. If you don't have ahli iman wa sunnah, then you need to at least listen a lot and stay connected Bi'idnillah ta'ala. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and to bless us and you during this holy month of Ramadan and bless uh, us to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.